<laughs> As former President Mwai Kibaki enjoys his days away from the public limelight, a debate over just where he should carry out his official functions in retirement rages. Since the news of the proposal to have a 700 million shillings office purchased, debate has continued to rage. And today, the Budget Committee of the National Assembly rejected that proposal. Kama mlango umefungwa huu, unataka tuingie mlango ingine. Iyo tumefunga, ngoje ni kesha. Indeed, when the former president left elected public office, he didn't leave empty-handed. There was an assortment of gifts bestowed upon him by various organizations and government departments, from a palatial house to livestock and everything in between. But the constitution too ensured that the president doesn't spend his days out of power in squalor. The President's Retirement Benefits Act of 2003, amended in 2012, adequately caters for the President's need. Section 5 of that Act states that the President is entitled to, amongst other things, a lump sum payment on retirement calculated as a sum equal to one year's salary for each term served as President, a monthly pension equal to 80% of the monthly salary currently paid to the President, an entertainment allowance of 200,000 shillings per month, a housing allowance of 300,000 shillings per month to cater for both an urban and a rural dwelling and the now controversial suitable office space not exceeding 1,000 square meters with appropriate furniture, furnishings, office machine, equipment and office supplies to be provided and maintained by the government. However, the rejection of the proposal by the National Assembly's Budget Committee will now force the government back to the drawing board to find ways of meeting the constitutional right of the retired president. Brenda Wanga, NTV.